in this video we are going to work on some animation overriding to say like if we don't have an weapon we will stand like this but if we do equip the weapon we will have another type of animation um, so we can swap between animation depending on what weapon we have in the hand but what we want to add now is that when we go over we don't have this sword stance and the sword animation when we are unarmed but we want it when we have this two-handed weapon instead so the weapon fits with the animation we already set this up in the previous tutorial where it's actually just we make the animation overdrive uh, so what we need to do is get of course the animations we want to use so uh, you go to this website again and I use the fight idle uh, you click animation of course then I use this fight idle here which make looks like this and then I use the crunch crush punch and I don't take the combo because it's just one tap and then I imported it all into our uh, unity project by dragging them in and then you go into the crunch punch and you duplicate uh, the punch control D like this and you can rename it to uh, crunch punch and maybe um, uh, like at R because this is the real one you want to use and you can like delete the others so this is not crunch punch R and this is not something we need and the same with fighting idle uh, you can say control D rename fight idle R and you can delete this okay great and then we could go into our prefab player and then we go to the animator we click this one and say you need to be fight idle this and basic attack needs to be crush punch ah there we go and then we go back start the game we can right click and see okay goes into the fight stance everything seems good already we start to smack him one and currently it's using our damage and uh, attack speed for the weapon we'll change that later but we have one problem inside the animation we need to set up a hit again because we do no damage so go back to the prefab uh, click on Maria and then you can see we have the crunch R here and if it says read only you didn't duplicate the crunch punch so you need to go back and duplicate it and then we will find uh, this place where it actually impact like here and say add an animation event and say this is the hit okay so now we set up that now we need to set up what about when we use the other weapon we go into prefabs into weapon into the new uh, and we can call it rename to two hand that animation all right so what do we want to override? We want to override the crush punch if you equip this. So we say that will be the sword. And be sure to take the same uh, animation that you used last time. And we want to have the sword idle, which is this one. And now we're just going to see if all of these are still attached. They are. Go out, see if they're still the same this and we are gonna check if if it works so go into the game right now we are standing like this and then we swap weapon so if we remove it it doesn't go back right now because we have not added like a weapon that is unarmed but fundamentally it this is how it will work we will add the other part later so right now we can go over, we can slap him one, and then we can add our weapon and get the other animation. So right now we just need the weapons to actually swap. 
because we're deleting here. So when we are deleting, we need a new animation override. But we will fix that in a later tutorial.